If you look at the size of that and compare it with these ones, there's quite a size difference. I got my first railway set when I was 12. It was a clockwork one. And yeah. I've been involved with it. I, 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 I've been... Ah, oh, right. And I've been involved with it ever since. Um, <coughs> with, in some shape or form. You know. I've got a collection, of, quite a big collection at home. Of, of what they call tin plate, which is the O gauge, which is bigger than any of this stuff here, but it's all, all clockwork or stuff I've got. So I set this one up here just just as a display unit, and we're probably going to take it down and use different track. We've got different track, but we haven't decided whether we'll run this one or not. But we want to try and do something better with that New Zealand gauge over on the side there. That's just sitting there, so you know, a few. New Zealand style buildings too. Yeah, they, those look very similar to they, what's they, here. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yes, yes. I've been working with founders probably for about 10 years off and on. There was nothing here. And we were given this set, or this is only part of a set, and we had to cut it down to get it in here. And, uh, and then rebuild all the side of it. So we rebuilt all the scenery. My wife um, is an artist. She came in and did a lot of the scenery work for us. Us being hand-fisted with a paintbrush and that sort of thing, so, yeah.
but um, some of these here date back on the track that first came out in the 1930s. Uh, that's the modern style of track on the far side there without the base on it. Although Markland put a base on all their track, even their modern stuff's got a base on it. But some of these wagons date back probably in the 1950s. Oh,